morning YouTube so those who are familiar with Liverpool or the TT in general will know this is uh, Leeds Street the road that leads down to the ferry terminal now steam packet says seven o'clock the check-in closes I live probably the closest person to the, ste to the steam packet terminal um, yes here we are at 654 so in typical me fashion um, I couldn't find a few bits and pieces on the way out so a bit of a last minute scramble but here we are TT 2024 guys it's uh, it's live it's in 4k <laughs> so you know I'm gonna try and bring as much content as I can this year so I've bought my laptop try and do some uh, editing on the fly every night when I get some downtime um, should get there just in time for them to shut the check-in desk I don't think they will actually shut it at 7 but alas here we are see loads of bikers loads of bikers bit of a queue like we said check-in technically shut Haven't moved much, 10 past 7, still in the same position we was 10 or 15 ago. Um, load them from this way instead. Normally it's flooded here, but this year they seem to have us all try and stand up. Yeah, so there's a lot of bikes behind us that we can see there. I um, don't know how good that is for traffic management, but not my problem. So, yeah, there's the check in area, 10 past 7. Almost at the boat. More progress. There she is, the Mananan. Um, the fast craft for today's crossing. Um, almost there. Here we are. Know your limits. Is that speed or alcohol? Maybe both. Anyway, know your limits. Here we are, almost at the check-in desk. Um, I do have my phone on my quad lock and it should be preset to the QR code that I need to get on the boat. We will see. It's reference numbers this year. Alright. It changes. Last year they showed the QR code. I'm going to get given a ticket now and I need to hold it. What the fuck? One of my fucking pockets. Take me mod one test, wee, around the corner. Now look for people who are going to get that ticket out my boot. This is the uh, thing about motorcycling, it's, uh, it's wonderful but it's not extremely practical. Alright, Mr Marshall's signalling me to the left. I will oblige. Neutral. Okay, maybe not, first gear. Ooh. Big bumps, here we are. Down the legendary steep ramp. Yeah, it's in my boot. It's in my shoe. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that it? Do you keep it? Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Whee! Now, are we going to get randomly searched or not? I've got a massive backpack on, but hopefully they just wave me on. I can't be bothered getting it all off. I promise you, all I've got is clothes and batteries. Yay. Alright, we've been waved on. Oh, God. Right, here we are. This was pain free. I tell you what, actually, it probably works better. I hate being stuck down here on the ramp waiting. So the fact that we can just drive straight on this year is because uh, you don't want to be stuck like on that. Um, okay, here we are. So yeah, they put like an extra mezzanine flooring up there, which is really cool for TT time. 
washing up. Absolutely chocker. Absolutely chocker. Come on Daisy, you can do it. It's too early in the morning for clutch control, I'm actually concentrating. Okay then. Here we are. That wasn't too bad. Let's go and get a pew. We'll try and get a good shot now from where the marshal's standing. Yeah, I'm still getting off camera. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. You can see. Amazing. Cute. Amazing. And this is only the second day of practice as well. The boats that are in race week are absolutely chock a block. Thank you. Oh, so here we are. It's the main section. I'm only going to go to the movie theatre, but people have already had their brekkie. That is commitment. Crash. One of the diners. The Nibel Lounge, don't be fooled. It's basically just more seats upstairs. But I actually think these ones have more space. Gift shop. Do you want an overpriced teddy? I will pass. Restaurant area. Massive queue, I will wait. And now we have the other seating area. Yay. So yeah, plenty of seats. As expected. Plenty of seats. I'm going to try and find our uh, movie theatre place. It's just it's it's quite chill in there. You know, I get this boat every year. I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. So we've gone a full circular. Full circular. Okay, so this is like the uh, little movie screening place. Hopefully, there's a front seat available. Ah, see. Um, mm, this will do. <laughs> So here we are, the Isle of Refuge, Manaman's cloak is fully taken over the Dublin shore. being shot on the iPhone. Still shoots in 4K. You normally would see most of Douglas promenade um, but not today. Not the best weather to arrive in. However, it won't dampen my spirits. Right, let's go and get back on the bike. Okay, so in typical annual fashion, I can't remember where I'm parked. Somewhere in the middle. Try and get to the bike before I become everyone's uh, number one villain. I've had that once where someone was what? trapping us in. He just fell asleep. Hmm. I kind of remember being sort of over on a yeah. Can't remember being over here. 
I've only got eight minutes running to the to the actual homestay this year, which is good. Um, it's quite close. It's just by Port Sodorick. So plan of action is to um, go to the homestay, drop my big heavy bag, and then there I am, Daisy. I see you, baby. So go to Port Sodorick, drop the bags, and then go to um, the grandstand to pick up my Marshall pack. Um, and then from there, the weather's pretty dire, so yeah, probably just do nothing for a while. <laughs> okay, we're on and we're waiting. A nice slippy exit onto Douglas, love that. Okay, so it's currently saying it's 134 miles and a nine hour drive. I somehow don't think that's accurate. Yeah, 12 minutes, that's more like it. Okay, so uh, yeah, nice and gentle one then to the homestay. No drama. Cold tyres, wet ground. This definitely isn't going to be one of my more inspired TT videos at the moment. Here we are, Douglas Harbour. this visor so you can actually uh, so I can see that's a good start I don't actually know the number of this house I'm not actually sure it even has a number it's just give me a house and a postcode it looks pretty big yeah. thank you van for not pulling out on me much appreciated indicators would help so, here we are, five minutes, very glad, sometimes we've had homestays in like Doon Glen or you know, bloody miles away. Right, so we're two miles down this little road then, so first bit of country rider in the Isle of Man. Not quite how I imagined it. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't think I've ever been down here. And I've been down pretty much 90% of the roads in the Isle of Man, I'd like to think. But I don't think I've ever been... This is going obviously towards Port Sodrick. I just don't think... Obviously, there's nothing to do in Port Sodrick anymore. I don't think it was a it was a tourist sort of hotspot in the uh, in the very early days. But uh, you know, in terms of like recently, there's the you know to hang these levers off, let them dry out. That nav is telling me I'm round about here somewhere. Knowing me, I'll probably overshoot. It's not that. I'm trying to familiarise myself with the pictures. I've been given a postcode. That's it. That's the farm. That's the farmhouse there. Uh, typically overshoot it. Bellevere Farm, I recognise the name off the advert. <sighs> Quick Huey. Or 3.10. Nice. Bellevere Farm, got a little bit of a bump to get up there. Ouch. Right. Just round the tree and follow it into the shed. 
Thank you. Oh, well, this is novel. Excellent, thank you. Hi, that's great, cheers. <laughs> At least it'll dry off. Okay, um, first full tank of the uh, of the holiday, and uh, it certainly won't be the last. However, it's been a pretty slow start. But as we can see, um, a few hours have passed. I just chilled in the homestay. It's, um, it's about half past three, I think, and they they announced that evening qualifying will go ahead um, obviously scheduled to uh, fully announce it at four o'clock so I'm gonna go and pick up my Marshall pack from the grandstand and you can come along with me for that and I might sign on to Marshall tonight's event I'm still undecided if I can be bothered working after such a long day I might just go and chill at like um, the bottom of Barragaro or something have a relaxing one okay right so we're just we're pretty much near Bray Hill so we're round the corner from the grandstand so let's go and see what the new Marshall bag has this year so here we are Yes, here is the Marshall's tent with the new fetching logo. I say in jest. I prefer the old one. Probably gonna have to take my helmet off here. Um, right then, I'll check back in when I've seen what I've got. Okay, so. Marshall jacket collected. See here. Super bikes qualifying, well, going up for their um, scrutineering. Do you want a new tabard? Here we are. Rare selfie in the vlog camera. Ooh, white Marshall card now because I've completed my instant management course and done the selected amount of sessions. So I've got a few more. Um, uh, a few more responsibilities when I marshal the session, so anyway, that's it. Um, I've signed on to go from sector and marshal in sector five tonight, so we'll um, probably uh, make that make it it for the vlog for today. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys on the next one. Yeah, I'll be here. If we're still practicing Saturday, or is it racing? No racing, 600 on side park. Yeah, right. How long? What do you think estimated? An hour. An hour? Oh, okay, okay. Oh well, there you go, folks. I was supposed to get you a little bonus um, mountain run to make up for the disappointments of um, <laughs> the session being cancelled, and I forgot it takes them about an hour and a half to put all the bloody cones out um, for the you know for the one-way traffic to resume. I'm not waiting until 9 o'clock because I do actually need to go to Tesco as well so yeah we'll just use the coast road but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out of today's vlog day one's done it wasn't too bad after all I've, I've been on the bike I've had you know what it's actually been quite fun I've met some new new guys on sector sector 5 I might go back and do another little uh, stint there later in the week so all in all a fantastic first day given even though it's been rained off i've really enjoyed myself so i hope you've enjoyed watching along and i'll um, i'll make another one in a couple of days 
See you later, guys.